Thank you for visiting After Class Tutor. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact us using the above email. In the video, we're going to talk about bearings, the definition, how to call them out, and some key observations and notes. We will begin by drawing our north to south, then our west to east. With this, we have created four quadrants. On the top right quadrant, the angles run from north to east. On the top left quadrant, the angles run from north to west. On the bottom right quadrant, the angles run from south to east. On the bottom left quadrant, the angles run from south to west. Bearings are used to indicate the direction of a line. The bearing angle will be between 0 and 90 degrees. Like I just mentioned, bearings will always start either a north or south and will always turn east or west. Let's look at an example. We will start by redrawing our quadrants. For instance, we draw a line from point X to point Y. We will assume that our angle A is 52 degrees 35 minutes and 14 seconds. First thing that we need to identify is that our angle is on the north to east quadrant. Therefore, we would call out bearing XY as follows. North 52 degrees 35 minutes 14 seconds east. Now let's draw another line from point X to point Z. Let's use the same angle value as before. Now this second angle is in the south to west quadrant. Therefore, we would call out bearing X, Z as follows. South 52 degrees 35 minutes 14 seconds west. Now let's take a few notes and observations. If we are told that a telescope has been plunged or reversed, this means that the telescope was turned 180 degrees from the current position. The turn can be in either direction, left or right. Let's draw again our quadrants in order to better explain these terms. Now we draw a line from point X to point Y. Our angle will be at the northeast quadrant, and we will call it angle A. Then we will turn our line 180 degrees to the right, like shown. Now our bearing has changed from the northeast quadrant to the southwest quadrant. Now we have bearing XZ, angle B is equal to angle A. Another term that is used during survey is back bearing. In our example, bearing XZ is the back bearing of bearing XY. It means that bearing XZ is in the opposite direction of the original bearing. One last item that is worth mentioning is the difference between bearings XY and YX. Let's draw once again our quadrants. In line from point X to Y and indicate our angle at the northeast quadrant. This time we're also going to draw our quadrants at point Y. This in order to better illustrate the differences between bearings XY and YX. The angle for bearing YX is at the southwest quadrant as shown. Just like when we explain the term back bearing. Both angles are the same but opposite direction. This is a common mistake when calling out bearings. The first letter will always indicate the origin. We have put together another video with several work problem examples in order for you to practice and better understand the concepts. Once again, thank you for watching the video and we hope that is of some help for you. Please do not hesitate to leave a comment or to contact us with any questions and please subscribe to our channel.